Omicron. Uh, let's talk about Omicron. Uh, everybody seems to be getting really scared about it. Uh, some are saying we need to go back into a lockdown, a shutdown in, in this country. I think it would be the fourth one if we, if we do it. Uh, is it that level of fear that needs to be asserted into this uh, particular variant? Because we saw Delta and then for that also people started getting, uh, you know, screaming and being afraid of. Now we have something co called Omicron. What is Omicron? Yes, yeah, so, so let's start uh, about Omicron. So it was first discovered in South Africa. Uh, on the, it, it was reported on the 24th of November. And uh, because of the nature of the mutations alone, the WHO declared it as a variant of concern on 26th of November. Now, the important thing here is just because South Africa sort of declared it and found it in uh, people uh, who were tested in the second week of November, that doesn't mean that that's when it was found. Mm. Uh, so because to detect something in a community, it has, it has to be there uh, significantly uh, to, to pick something up. Uh, the, the news says that the, the lady who we found here in Sri Lanka actually got prior to the discovering of the, uh, the variant. Is, is yes, that a truth to that? that? That's, that that's right. So before it was uh, declared a variant of concern. So when, when South Africa actually put, put out the information, uh, several countries put out travel bans, uh, banning people from South yeah. Africa coming to those countries, including us. Uh, but then, what they discovered it is that uh, by that time there was community transmission of Omicron in several European countries and in US. So by the time South Africa was reporting it, there was community transmission of this in these countries. Uh, so when it's present, so as of now, it's present in 60 something countries and countries like ours have only reported it in travelers coming in. Uh, but so many European countries, US and, and South African countries, so many other countries are reporting it in the community. So there is community transmission. Now, the question is, do we have one person with Omicron? I mean, that it would be really naive to think that we have sure. <laughs> sure. one person with Omicron. Um, because, uh, I mean, unless you have it in a particular proportion, I mean, a significant proportion of individuals, you're not going to detect it. And the problem with Omicron, I mean, I'll tell you the good sides and the bad sides. So I'll start with the bad things first and, and then talk about yeah, the good yeah. things later. Okay, so, so let's talk about the bad things first. So the bad things about Omicron is it can infect people who are fully vaccinated. I mean, we saw Delta also infecting people who are fully vaccinated. There are enough and more people who are fully vaccinated and got Delta. And uh, Delta also caused infection in people who are naturally infected. But Omicron has a high ability to infect people who are fully vaccinated and who have had natural infection. Uh, and because of this, uh, we know, uh, like not just us, all countries uh, in the world are letting in vaccinated passengers coming in. Uh, and uh, uh, so that's how all these uh, countries got Omicron. So I, my guess is uh, that we have Omicron in, uh, in, in the society. Uh, because, I mean, Sri Lanka is not a special country. <laughs> but uh, what you said also ma makes sense. We did ban uh, people or travelers coming from uh, African region, but then you said it was detected in Europe. We have not banned uh, yeah, so, so this is why, so, from Europe. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's widely spread in Europe. And uh, it, it's, uh, but what is happening in UK right now, they are calling it a tidal wave. And uh, I saw in the news last night that UK is now deploying the army and the general practitioners have asked to sort of help in the vaccine deployment. So they want to roll out booster doses as far as fast as possible to face Omicron. So the fact is we have to, uh, let's go with the facts and then think, let's discuss what we can do about it. Now, Omicron should be here, there's no question about it. And if it is not here today, we are not detecting it, we should definitely detect it in a, f in a few weeks' time. I, when I say I don't mean three, four weeks, I mean very soon. There's no way that we don't have Omicron. Uh, Sri Lanka, like all other countries in the world, will have it. Uh, and uh, now, there are reports from South Africa that it causes mild disease. So that is good news. Now, when you say it causes mild disease, does it mean that it's less uh, powerful than Delta? Because we know that Delta caused a lot of deaths in Sri Lanka, in, in India, Indonesia, so many countries, and we know that Delta is causing a huge issue in Europe itself. 
so does it mean that Omicron is less lethal than Delta? Now, when we look at the original SARS COV virus, COV2 virus that causes, caused COVID, then we had Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta, uh, which killed off quite a bit of people, caused severe disease. But when Omicron came, we don't have an unarmed population. You see, all the previous variants attacked an unarmed population. So when you're unarmed and you get attacked, of course, you have more casualties. But here, we have a quite a significant proportion who have had natural infection. And if you take Sri Lanka, we have very high vaccine coverage. So when Omicron hits us, like it hit South Africa, like it is hitting many other countries, we won't, we are unlikely to uh, see the same effect of other variants. And that's, that's not because Omicron is le less lethal. It's just because we are not naive anymore. We are armed. We have immunity. Uh, we have immunity. We have prior immunity from vaccines or from natural infection. So we have some degree of immunity in the population when Omicron hits.